happening. No, I got the sense that it was a regular character. I got the sense of it. Uh, but I don't know. We don't really know that much about what's what's the plan. We just generally get a scene. Um, okay. Which was interesting. I, I, it was a scene we we auditioned with that I, quite frankly, we never actually have. We haven't we haven't animated it yet or filmed it yet. It hasn't shown up in another episode. I was curious about that, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we we uh, uh, and they would. What was really great is when the directors are there and they can um, guide you through it. So mm. basically, the sense I got from Shax, my first take was that he is just, they really wanted to get the tough as nails guy. He is scary. He's, I, I didn't know anything about him yet. All I knew is that he seemed just uh, the rugged, the more rugged, the, the more intense, the better. And that's kind of mm -hmm. where I was playing it. It was like, okay, well, damn it. Let's make sure, you know, and it was, uh, I saw him more like a drill <laughs> sergeant, like a call, you know, yeah, totally. and, and as time goes on, the joy of of being the shacks is is seeing what a heart he has and what a good guy he really is uh, you know and and, and, mm -hmm. and he would hate it if i say this but a softy and a romantic <laughs> you know I, you yeah. know he's a real softy he's a romantic and he will die doing two things protecting the ones he loves you know he the, the, one of my favorite lines in the first season he says uh captain i mean first of all the idea that he's he's going to be uh, defense, he's going to like be your security officer, and the first thing he does is want to fight, like you know immediately. Like even, <laughs> yeah. even Michael no, Dorn, like even Warp had like a moment of like, all right, we'll we'll figure something else, you know. Like you hear this guy's immediately <laughs> like, I think we should phase them, Captain. Like like you know his immediate response is like a bad bouncer, you know what I mean? Like he's going to yeah. get the fight. That's what and stood so, out about the character to all of us, but yeah. Please continue. I mean, that well, that you're almost like a parody of yeah. what really makes these security officers, especially Worf, because everybody's yeah. like, OK, Worf just always wants to fight. That's yes. We know what your solution is, Worf. We know. And then Shax is like, <laughs> hold my rack to Gino or whatever, you know, yeah, hold my Hasperat. <laughs> yeah. And he at least Worf like tries to keep it together. You know, like 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 Shax just goes, I don't understand this technology. Like like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like me yelling at my computer. You know, it's like, what the, you know, and, 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 and the idea that he wants to destroy the warp core. Like, like the idea is, I su I suggest we target the warp core is the best line for him ever because it's like, <laughs> so you're gonna just reject the whole premise of Star Trek at this point. <laughs> like, you're you're a man who knows about wormholes and Bajor. You know, you actually are gonna just destroy. That's his the plan basic A. Idea of what makes Star Trek happen. <laughs> what? That's his plan A. That's yeah, that's his plan A. <laughs> you know? And 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 you know, and you gotta admire that. And and I think for comedic there was something so funny about that for me. You know, just like that's like and and, and he's got heart because I think even when he dies, what's the last thing he's doing? He's still beating the crap out of somebody as the ship is blowing up. Like, like <laughs> I loved know? it. I love that scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and this is what, this is the greatest day of his life. You know, just like, this is what he was born to do. Uh, I know his past has got to be, I'm not sure Checkered. he was Starfleet. I'm not <laughs> sure he was Starfleet for very long. Uh, I think he fought in the wars. I think he had a big life and lost a lot of people, you know, and, and it's got scars to prove it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now he has taken on this, Cerritos and and all of them, you know, Federation as as something to be a part of, and something to to fight to literally fight for. But again, I love that his first response is just like, "I I say we we take them down." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's sort of like a bull in a china shop, and his his character is like he's he's super yeah. aggressive, uh, but he's also sensitive. Like you can't ask him certain things, like. You know, hey, didn't you die? <laughs> like, no, no you yes, that was great. And that's a dark night of the soul for a Bajoran. Like, that's mm -hmm. like, right. but what he went through is so unspeakable and it's shaken him to the core. I, I mean, and we go through all, so I believe there was a black mountain involved. Mm -hmm. I believe there was a wormhole. I believe there was a, rebor a rebirth. I mean, I think, I think, I, I, what, one of the things I love about 
his culture is their reliance on they have a deep spirituality and they have a, a very complex they're ancient i mean they really are very old like they really they've got some well i guess everything's ancient but he's got but they've got a, they've got an incredible uh complicated spiritual paradigm and i think that he slipped through something that was you know that that maybe gave him this other chance but i think it shook him to his core and can't really talk about it i don't know if you know if he understands what happened now from that's how i play it and feel it uh from a comedy perspective or from a Star Trek perspective, what's hilarious, it's a real, it's a real nod to all the people who come back, you know, those parallel dimensions or like, yes, how, absolutely. How did this person survive, you know? Right. And, and we don't answer it. And for a long time, I've been trying to, Mike and I have been trying to answer people this, like what happened, you know, and our answers are, well, we know. Right. And now I kind of have now I have kind of a backstory in my head of, of how it went down. But what's hilarious is how many fans go, I don't want to know. Like so many wanted to know, but it's like kind of hilarious. <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. This is perfect. We yeah, shouldn't totally. know. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what we, yeah, we, probably we don't want to know. Traverse there. It's a dark so, thing. And yeah. And the only yeah. And now he's uh yeah, now he's in love. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's, it's, right. it's quite great. Huh? Right. Do you, I, um, I guess we can't uh, have, have you make any predictions about Dr. Ta'ana and Shaq because you're well into season three as far as mm -hmm. recording is concerned, but you did touch upon backstory. And so maybe we can go backwards a little bit. Was I will you know, say this though? I will say this that it, it is, and I am I am instructed that I can say this. It's it's hot and heavy. I mean, it's naked time. It's very real. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's naked time, and and the scratches, and he is. I'm just gonna say he is in love. Wow. I mean, he really cat scratch fever, man. Abs, thank you. Let's do this. <laughs> I gotta do this. Uh, um, <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Uh, and I think it's because, and I just love how I, I, I just, I, I love how she's being played. Uh, you know, it's just so brilliant. Um, but it's, uh, they're both rough. They're both very right. tough. And they say it. And vulgar. Yeah. And vulgar. <laughs> oh, and I don't you love when Dr. Tonic just gets what beeped out? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Or, or, I think that's the best. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of my Me favorite. Too. Um yeah, vulgar and um uh but their heart is in the right place. Uh they're both extremely passionate. I think in some ways she's tougher than he is, mm -hmm. in some ways. Uh, in a in a I, 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 we will discover, a, I will say this without being, without hinting away too much, uh, you'll discover more tender sides of Shaq's. Let's just say, let's put it that way. You know. I mean, nice. I, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I, 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 I like her, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and so, so uh, I'll leave it at that, but it's, it is a, it is a, I will say you, it is a real thing and it, it is very hot and heavy. Wow. Um, so stay tuned yeah. for that, everybody, because you're going to get Bajoran and Cation babies <laughs> and and Bates. bruised ribs. What would, we, what would they be? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be adorable. I, I have yeah. a question. Um, uh, but, I, I guess but, it's kind of but a Jillian, like, Jillian like, plays it. I just love how she plays that character. I, I love all, the whole cast. It's just, it just, they really bring it. But that just, just kills me. 